Hey, CT297 here with another review, and today I have, um, a vehicle review, and I have, um, the, I guess you'd call it a desert skiff, um, it's a really nice, I have to give it, uh, a very, it's just a very nice, um, has a lot of play features, um, as you can see though, some of the stickers are coming off, kinda, uh, upset about that, but uh, you know, it it came out in 1993. It says on the bottom. But uh, enough with just talking. Let's get to the figure or to the vehicle. So on the bottom, you can see a few stickers, um, which is really nice because I mean, who would look under anyway? So uh, some like grills on the side. This is what the front looks like. Looks like a regular uh, skiff, only like smaller. Um, so that's the other side, and that's the back, and that's pretty much like exhaust right there. <clears throat> so now I'll go on with, uh, I guess you could call it the, I don't know, the umbrella, I guess. Um, it can move right here and it's free, it doesn't really have any uh, joints. And then, right there, it moves in, has grooves and it moves in, like, certain ways. So, I don't know why you want it like that, or like that, but uh, I just keep it up like that. And it looks nice. Um, and it, it has really nice uh, detail on it also. So, I'm, I'm like, I'm really psyched that I got this. Um, and then, if you look on the inside, there's some control panels. Um, and then two handles right there and there. <clears throat> so, and then, there's, yeah, there's a foot peg in there. But if you move these... It'll move also, and so will the back too. So, I I think that's a great feature. And then, if that wasn't enough, um, these sides have just move uh, uh, 360 degrees, and there's two of them. And then the bottom, right here, the landing, <clears throat> one of the little stands. You push that out. Uh, there's one of the boardwalks, um, like in the regular skiff, and then there's, I guess, the foot peg, and then you can just push it back in, and it fits perfect. So, for ten bucks, this is awfully, er, awesome, it's awfully worth it, if that makes sense, um, I mean, just all the detail on it, um, it's just absolutely, I think, beautiful what they did. And for ten bucks, it's, it's really worth it because, I mean, if you think about, you can get Plo Koon's Bark Speeder for $17 and it isn't even half as cool as this. Um, so yeah, I'd pick it up if I were you, um, if you're into the older stuff also. So, 5 out of 5, easily. Um, so, yep, see you in the next review, and may the force be with you.